And now that you've created screens in your app, let's look at creating workflows and automations to simplify your day-to-day -day activities. This video is a part of my sales CRM course. Be sure to check out the full series by following the link in the description. Actions help streamline your workflow and automate repetitive tasks. Everything from marking a deal as archived all the way to something as advanced as maybe you want to grab all the company data here, summarize it with the AI, create a proposal, format it as a PDF and then send it in an email. You could do all of that in one click. Now this template is a blank slate for your actions. Let's go ahead and start small with the single step action. Let's say for this company, I wanna send a welcome package to them whenever they sign on with us. I'm gonna to go to my layout and I'm gonna go ahead and add a button. Now I'll click on that button and go to the properties over here. You can see it says go right now. I'm gonna change this to say send welcome package. And whenever this button is clicked, I want to send an email to everyone that is associated with this account. But if I search for email, you can see I only have my email, the current user profile, that's whoever's logged in and their email. If we go back to our data and look at our accounts, if we scroll over here, we can see we do have contacts, but we don't have their emails pulled in here. So I'm gonna add a new column and I'm gonna call this contact emails. And I'm gonna do a joined list and I'm gonna look up all of my contacts emails and separate those by a comma. Now back in the layout, if we go back to that button here under two, now I can search for email and you can see I have contact emails here. I'm gonna remove some of these other fields and for the subject, I'll say welcome. For the body, I'll add a welcome email that includes a link to our welcome package. And that's it. Now whenever we click this button, it's gonna send an email to all the contacts for this company with our welcome package included. So that's how to add a simple action. But let's say we wanted to make this more advanced. Glide can do a lot with actions, even things based off of your current data. So let's look at a more advanced action. Let's go back to our button here. And instead of send email, let's click on that and say actions for accounts and then create new action. This is gonna pull through that simple one-step action that we just created that sends an email. But let's use that field that we created called is local in our data video. Let's add a condition to say, if they are local, we're gonna send them a separate email. So if they are local, we actually don't wanna send them this email. We only wanna send this email if they're not local. So I'm gonna add an else branch here and then slide over our original email. I'll actually duplicate this just to keep some of the settings and drag that back over. And then I'm gonna edit the email a little bit for the local clients that we have. Let's say instead of sending them a link to our welcome package, maybe we want to invite them out to lunch. So in this case, we'll type them a message that invites them to schedule a lunch with us. Alrighty, and that is it. Now we have a button that uses the data in our system to decide which email to send. We don't have to keep track of who the client is. We don't have to go spend 10 minutes writing the email, grabbing the link to the welcome package. All we have to do now is click this button and it does it for us. This leverages the power of the data we already have, it saves us time, and it gives our customers a more consistent experience. All right, that's how to create custom workflows and automations. To get access to the template I'm using, be sure to check out the link in the description below. And in the next video, I'll show you how to share this app with your first users.